Hello and welcome to the Nexus for issue six. We're now on issue six of our build the Ecto one. We're now going to be doing part fifteen. So this is issue six, part fifteen. And uh, yeah, so it's the right side suspension that we're building. So let's crack on. Okay, so first we are going to build the lower arm like we did with the left one. So this is the lower part that we need. We need this part. We also need this part and the rubber bumper as well. So the other parts can be put away for a minute. So first things first is that we grab this. This turns upside down. And we're going to attach here with EM screws either side of this section just here. See what it looks like. I've gone ahead and done that. Uh, we've got the, uh, the the bumper as well fitted, which was fitted with a GP screw just like before. Uh, so now we're going to create, this is the, um, the bottom half. Now we're going to create the top half of it. So let me just grab the parts which is really nice I, I like the way that they do all these parts as well so we're going to need um, the top wishbone here this bracket and this little bracket we're also going to need our EM screws uh, and just like before we're going to attach this with EM screws just here and this as well to this side with EM screws let's do that okay so now we've got the two of them now We've got our frame, uh, just like with before, we're going to attach the bottom one first. So this is the bottom one. It just goes in here. We're going to turn it around, put uh, HM screws into the top, uh, into the top of this bit to secure that in place. Okay, so we've gone ahead and secured that. Now we're just going to flip it back up actually on this way, because that's how we attach it. We're now going to uh, grab this section just here. And this is going to sit just on there, like so, because it comes up just very slightly. We're going to use our brackets that we have here. And we're also going to use our IM screws to attach these. And uh, these go on just like that. On that side and this one on that side like so and we're gonna attach them without them falling off obviously <laughs> just like that and see what it looks like so I've gone ahead and done that as you can see nice and easily secures really easy this is one thing I'm finding out uh, about this build uh, from other builds that I've done that the screws uh, and stuff like it seems to be fitting together much e much more better easily um, than other ones so it's a, it's a marked improvement uh, and I think that's why a lot of people are liking it I am expecting that at the moment there's quite big pieces but I'm expecting that number to drop off as we continue building. The next we're going to be building, uh, building is the, the brake drum, which is here. Uh, so we'll need these two bits and the bracket here. So let's get them out. Okay, so just like previously, we're going to be uh, attaching these two bits. So we need two EM screws just there. Uh, and like I said before, if you've built anything modern, you will know that there is no caliper because these are actually brake drums. Uh, and I think before I mentioned, uh, but I'll run for it just again. As you can see, it's really quite detailed, actually. Uh, let's just zoom up here. So you can see here, um, this is the, the the inside sort of thing of the brake drum. Uh, there's the, um, the pressure cylinder there. So basically, when you push the brakes, uh, it pushes these outer walls, as you can see here, against this wall here against the uh, this wall and that's what basically stops the wheel um, the, there's a reason why we don't use these anymore because the brakes were awful on these sorts of cars I like I said before um, this thing traveling at high speed hmm yeah it'd be it would have been really dangerous uh, 
<laughs> Especially um, in the film where you see it taking the corners very quickly. Um, yeah, that word of, uh, especially with its brakes like it is uh, in today's modern cars, uh, it's um, yeah, <laughs> like that. Uh, yeah. So these two screws go in here just like I did with the uh, last one. So that all goes in like so, and then this one. These are EM screws. Just guide, guide that one down there. I should really magnetize this, but um, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. There we go. So I've done that. Uh, next, we're going to take this section here, and it just goes. Just clicks in like that. We're going to use our uh, HP screws. We need three of them. I'm going to use a different screwdriver to screw these ones in. A little bit of a smaller head on this one. Oh, and it is magnetized. This one is. <laughs> so you don't want to watch me fumbling around like this. Who wants to watch me fumble around? Like that. Just gotta make sure they line up well. Actually, does this one this one fits it, does it? Ah, okay. I used a smaller one, but actually the bigger one's fine. Should have remembered. Ah see? Why do you want to watch me do this? This is why I do this off camera because um, nothing ever works when I start doing it on camera. Nothing ever plays ball. So that one's in. And like I said, you don't want to watch me fumble around with this. Okay, so that one's in as well. So uh, that is the uh, the brake disc. So now what we've got to do is attach this to our frame. I'm going to bring this way round, and we're going to use a JM screw to attach this to the upper arm here. So just here, like so. Oop. Uh, like that. That's it. Get it the right way around. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay. So now we've done that, we're going to put our spring in like we did before. Then we're going to attach the uh, other side of the world with an IM screw. Then use a HP screw, HM sorry, to secure our um, shock absorber. So we have the spring and the shock absorber. A lot of people say that the whole thing is the shock absorber. No, it's only this part. This piston here is the shock absorber. This is uh, like a recoil that it uses. So sort of uh, spring it back. But that's what we're going to build, and we're going to secure the, the tire in uh, the wheelbase as well. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so got ahead and done that, as you can see. I'll just flip it over so you can see that there. So you can see what it looks like on that side. Really nice and secure and really stiff. It's not as loose as the other side. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Next, what we're going to do is um, the sort of steering arm here. Uh, so once again, this... This section just here needs to be poked in. Uh, easy way to identify this is this is going to go in just here. Uh, these two little these two little bits on the end here, these um, Jubilee brackets they are, and they're really well done actually. As you can see, there are these little Jubilee brackets. Um, so this is going to attach onto here and then attach there, and we're using. Um, HM screw and a KM screw. We only get one KM screw that goes in there. So let's do that. Okay, and that is it for this stage. So that's stage 15 done. Uh, as you can see, it's nice and secure. Uh, steering is really stiff. I might have to uh, loosen it up just here because uh, this is the side we've obviously been working on. Um, but yeah, I'm 
I'm loving that. That's really nice. Uh, and that's it for stage uh, 15. Uh, stage 16, let's have a little look, see what we get. So in stage 16, these are the parts we get. So it looks like we're fitting the uh, anti-roll bar here and the steering rod. So it looks like stuff to do with the steering. Anyway, that's what we uh, that's what we get in the next stage. Thank you for watching, and remember, keep it the Nexus.